for you. When is it okay for patients to have pain when they're doing their home exercises? So if we have a patient do a squat, let's say this is a patellofemoral patient and he complains of pain, anterior knee pain there with a single leg squat. Now, I could say, don't squat because squat's bad for your knees. Or I could say, loosen the, or lessen the load. Or I could say, only go through a partial range of motion when it starts to hurt, stop doing that and come back up. So those would all be thought processes and strategies that somebody without a doctoral level education, board certifications, license, seven years of school could use. If you have a doctoral level education and board certifications and a license to practice, this is what I recommend. Get to the root cause of what is happening there. So if he squats down and let's say his pain was there at that angle, I should know what muscles are active at that angle and I should be able to go assess each one of those muscles to assess neuromuscular function. If they're inhibited, I should be able to reverse that. Then when we come back, I would give him load and have him do squats. And we would know that if we give him load, that's going to cause more facilitation of more muscles, which will take away more pain and increase biomechanics and his knee pain should go away. So if he has some discomfort on the first rep, I would say finish out and by rep three or five, he should have no pain because we got to the root cause.